Okay, stick fiddling. What I'm doing here is I chucked aside all these as a, basically a byproduct of what I'm doing. So these are sun shoots. So from a big stool, you can see the narrow shoots in this one. They often put up shoots that go up for the light, called sun shoots. These are these ones, pale ones. Darker ones are mostly coppice regrowth or very young sun shoots that have had an extra year's growth on them. I've had cut because they've been in the way. And what I'm doing here, cutting out material like this that might make bean rods, forky sticks for me layering. That's the broom handle. And here is, is an example of pea sticks, which are mostly nice and forky and twiggy, and all branch in more or less one plane. Another one there. They used to be used quite a lot. Stick them in the ground, see where the bill hooks cut through nice and clean, and you grow your peas up them. And then you take up the whole of the row, peas plus these, and put the whole lot on the compost heap, or stick it through a garden shredder. Much more eco-friendly, makes lovely compost, than trying to unravel them from, say, plastic lines, or something similar. This is the raw material, and you notice the way I was using the hook, this is a Yorkshire bill hook, which is primarily a hedge laying tool, but it's the one I've got here, because I've been bleaching some of these, like that one, to layer it in to fill in some of the gaps in the stools in this area. And I'm using it strangled. I'm not strong enough to use it full hand. And I've been using this curved edge, because as it slides up the, uh, the stem, it slices off the side branches. And hopefully you could see that I was keeping the uh, stem between me and the hook at all times, turning the stem over and going from the bottom to the top. So you cut with the growth of the stem, not this way, and certainly not this way. So it jumps off and the bill of your hook sits in your knee. When I was cutting like this, always cut away from yourself. And your hook should be sharp, so it goes straight through as you saw, and leaves a nice clean cut that you can push straight into the ground with your bean rod. Bean rods traditionally sold straight in bundles of 11, so five along and one bound along the top, and 10 foot length. I have sold some of these in the past as 10 foots or 8 foots or 6 foots. 6 foots seem to be very popular these days. Even though your runner bean plants tend to grow straight over the top. Right, I'm not an expert on real coppice craft stuff like this. I'm very slow. A real coppice grass person would whack through these in the time that I spent doing these few here. But I hope that gives you an idea. Try it yourself, be safe, and remember this is not the only sort of bill hook. This is one extreme, there are many smaller ones, all with different shapes and evolved to do different types of job. That's another story. Thank you very much.